Hello everyone. Welcome back. This video is about cutoff and resonance. These are two settings available in most of the keyboards for modifying sounds. So this video is not specific to a brand or model. I will use three keyboards to explain it with different interfaces. I have a Yamaha SX900, Korg PA4X and a Korg X50 synthesizer here. The cutoff and resonance are related to the component called filter in the sound engine. Filter is used to remove a set of frequencies from a sound. The sound passes through the filter and based on the settings in the filter, the output is modified. This diagram shows the sound passing through the filter. The left side of the sound has a lower frequencies and the right side has a higher ones. This filter does not remove anything since it is fully open. When we add a blocker here, the higher frequencies are removed from the sound. We can modify the point where the frequency removal happens. This point is called the cutoff point. There are different types of filters. The most common type of filter is low pass filter, which means the filter removes the higher frequencies and passes the lower frequencies below the cutoff point. There is high pass filter which removes the lower frequencies and passes higher ones. Sometimes there would be a combination of high pass and low pass filters. When we create or modify a sound, the cutoff point is set to a fixed one. The cutoff option is used to modify it later without going to the filter settings. Some keyboards provide live control knobs for adjusting the cutoff and resonance live. Resonance is something like an equalizer. It is used to boost the frequency at the cutoff point. I will come back to it in a few minutes. Now let me explain the cutoff in detail. I am showing it on a Korg PA4X first. After this I will show it on a Yamaha SX900 as well. I am in the sound edit mode here. Going to the filter page. This is a filter settings. It is set individually to each oscillators. This sound has two oscillators. Both of these are using a low pass filter. The filter is set to 99 which is the highest value. It means no frequencies are removed. Let us preview the sound with these settings. We have a cutoff control here. This will apply to all the oscillators together. When I reduce the cutoff, the filter's cutoff point is reduced and it removes the frequencies above the cutoff point. Now we hear only the lower frequencies from the sound. Let us check the filter settings. It was 99 earlier. Now it is reduced to 61. This is because of the adjustment we made to the cutoff point. It is applied to the second oscillator as well. Now when I increase the cutoff, nothing happens. This is because the filters are already set to the maximum value, which is 99. I am setting the filter to a lower value. Let us try with different values in both the filters. So the second one is 80 and the first one is 60. Now the cutoff point here is reset to 0. When I increase it, the sound is changing. Now both the filters are set to 99. I'm setting the cutoff point to 0. Now the first oscillator has 60 and the second one has 80. Reducing the cutoff. Now the values are 42 and 55. This is another type of filter. 
low pass and high pass it is a combination of two types of filters here filter a is a low pass filter which will remove the higher frequencies and filter b is high pass which will remove lower frequencies now the low pass filter removes all the frequencies above 75 and the high pass filter removes all those below 20 I'm increasing the cutoff. Now the filter values are changed. Filter A has 86 and filter B has 57. When I reduce the cutoff, this is the result. This is a sound editing page. So this cutoff value adjustment you make will get saved to the sound when you save it. But you can modify it later from the track controls page. Let me show it on a Yamaha keyboard now. The cutoff and resonance is available in the voice edit page. Go to the sound tab. Once we set the values, we can save the sound as a user sound. Or we can exit without saving it and save the settings to a registration memory. Let me show you some more sounds. In some of the lower PSR models, the voice edit menu may not be available. In that case, you can assign the cutoff and resonance to the assignable knobs to use this feature. Here based on the original filter value and type, the sound gets modified. This is a vibraphone sound. Just with reducing the cutoff and assigning the panel sustain, this is the output.
the sound changes when we increase the cutoff this is because the original cutoff value in the filter is low now let me explain the resonance i'm using a korg x50 for this it has an editor software which gives a good graph preview of the filter this is the x50 editor software screen here the filter section has a low pass filter when we modify the frequencies it shows the live graph with the filter shape the resonance applies on the cutoff frequency like the eq it boosts the frequency at the cutoff point this diagram shows the boost Now when I change the cutoff frequency the resonance level is maintained but it moves to the new cutoff frequency This is cutoff and resonance. I hope it was clear. Let me know your feedback in the comments. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.